everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, I want to talk about one thing. But to start off, my name's Silver. I think I already said that. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Cut me a break. Let's get into the video. So, guys, I'm here to review, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm here to re review Stark Dragon. And I will admit, I feel like the shock. Like, I was super hyped for a card, and what it was let me down, so I feel like it was sort of underwhelming at first. Sort of like, I used to think this card was pretty weak, if you, um, I'll try to zoom in on it. Boop, there we go. <coughs> so at first I thought this card was pretty weak when you compared it to its other counterpart, which was Drachma. I honestly thought Drachma was stronger than Megalonico. And I was wrong there. This card is clearly stronger than this one. And the Zoo Nation, I feel, is stronger than both of them. That's my opinion. <coughs> but Stark is who we're here to talk about. And guys, you are right. Black Moon was right. Everyone is right. This card is good, and it is powerful. Granted, there are cards that do its job better, in my opinion, but this card is still powerful to the degree of 36 base K attack three times in one turn with a drive. <coughs> Honestly, the only thing I wish they had done is minus one drive to make it sort of more powerful, but I can see the fairness. And overall, I guess I can't be too upset. I really do love this design of the whole card. And I I do see this card being about $200. It just has a lot going for it, I guess. Certain decks are going to make more use out of it. I still don't think Nova decks are going to use this at all. I think this is going to be more of a Link Joker slash Dimension Police deck. Because you if you combo this with Commander Laurel, the deck is just powerful. Because you can attack with all your commander, you can attack with either, you can attack a total of four times if you use Commander Laurel. <coughs> and yeah, I mean, this card is just good. Sure, I wish I had something to do with more shield break or locking, but I can understand why. And to be fair, I guess technically Link... Oh, in the history of Vanguard's fuzzy, so I won't get into too much. But I wanted to say you guys are right. I do honestly think this card is good. And it just looks nice overall. So I wanted to say that. I did post a video a co uh, about a couple days ago. This is going to go up Friday? It's going to go up in about two days. It's about the... It's the 10th for me now, so it's going to go up on Friday the, um, something. Because that's real descriptive for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. But yes, yeah, so thoughts overall. Now that I've had time to think about it, this card is going to be good. Definitely in a Grand Hop deck, and definitely I feel like it can be used in Chaos. Um, I see this more being in a deleter deck for sort of that pushing point. I would use this in my deleter deck. I guess I could use this in Messiah as well. <coughs> um, again, I don't think it could be used in Chaos. That's just a personal opinion. And I, I've been watching videos on people's thoughts and initial reactions to this, and a lot of people were really hyped for it. Which did help me see a little bit better, and I've thought about it, and I've even play tested with the idea as well. And it is a good card, it's a nice finishing card. And for what it does, I guess it does work. Um, I, I felt like when I was play testing in my Nova deck, it had no versatility, but when I was play testing in my Link Joker decks, it was doing fine. And being I don't have Dimension Police, um,. There's not a lot I can do about that. So I guess um, I wanted to thank a couple people really quickly. So let me pull up their names. <coughs> and I will get to that. Um, this video is sort of spur of the moment because I'm setting up some videos to go out. 
throughout this week and out throughout next week because they got a lot going on as of late so <clears throat> please stick with me for a second if you guys haven't checked out any of my other recent videos like the initial reviewing of this card or my deck profile review go check those out I think you guys will really enjoy those and stick and for tomorrow my episode review is coming out so <clears throat> yeah check that out so team burst um, if you guys don't know who team burst is they they're a youtuber that frequents mine and black moon's channels and he was right this card is pretty good I would like to take a moment to thank a handful of people. I'd like to thank Kevin Lee for joining us two days ago. Um, someone's name that I can't read in Japanese joined us two weeks ago. Um, Lehman Silver joined us two weeks ago. Dumb and Scott joined us a month ago. We've also had Fantastic Dallas join us, Vanguard Plays, GM, Dragonic Blade, a Dragonic Blaster, Wasabi Ninja, and Abyssal Dragon are all have joined us in the past two months. So I'd like to thank you all for joining. I've been meaning to read off those. And guys, as this goes on, I'll read off more subscribers. So, um, I don't really know where to really talk about this because I gave my two thoughts, but this, this, this card's nice. If I can get my hands on one, I will definitely have it. <clears throat> but um I guess that's sort of it um let me know what you guys want to see in the future I'll be reviewing the next Zerath Dragon as soon as it comes out in the episode review tomorrow which should be Saturday please try to stick with me I am working until 9 30 so I will try to get the episode out as soon as possible but guys I hope you all enjoy please leave a like and subscribe if you're new until next time guys I've been the Soul Wolf and I'll see you all later peace